there's an even more flexible and easier to write version of JSON called YAML. We've got a JSON file and a YAML file. And these two files contain the same information. YAML is easier to write than JSON because you don't need to include brackets, commas, or quotes. Instead, it's based on indentation, but that can also make it harder to get right when you write it out. I'll dive into the details of how that's represented in YAML in just a second. But to start at the top, YAML files have a .yaml extension, or sometimes just .yml without the A. And YAML is a kind of funny name, which stands for YAML ain't markup language, which I assume someone thought was hilarious at the time. And now I have to try and explain that to you. But that's right. The Y in YAML stands for YAML, which makes it a recursive acronym. But the acronym isn't important. What you need to know is that it's basically like JSON. In fact, any valid JSON is also valid YAML. So if this YAML file included exactly the same text as what I've got in this JSON file, it would still be a valid YAML file. YAML can do everything that JSON can do, but it also gives you the flexibility to leave out brackets and other things. So let's look at exactly how I've got this laid out here. So the first thing is that I don't need these brackets surrounding different parts of the data in YAML. The next is that I don't need quotes to surround strings. I don't need commas to separate the different key value pairs. And I also don't need the square brackets to represent lists. So lists and dictionaries are represented differently. So what I'm showing here is something that everybody struggles to get right. And if I didn't have it written out, you'd probably be thinking, how do I represent a list of dictionaries? Representing a list of dictionaries in YAML looks like this. You have multiple keys at the same level of indentation, but only the first one has a dash. So this here is a list of dictionaries. The value for this menu item key is a list of dictionaries. You can see that because I've got dashes. Every time I see a dash, it means start of a new list item. And you can see that each part of that list item, which have the same level of indentation, are key value pairs, which means there are dictionary mapping. So this, just to say one more time, this is a list of dictionaries. And that's how you represent it in YAML. Maybe that's a bit of a confusing example because it mixed lists and dictionaries. So let's look at another example where I've just got a list. So if I had a list of, let's just say strings, I'd do indentation and then I'd have different words like that. Each of them has their own dash to represent a new list item and they're on the same level of indentation and uh, they're on different lines. The indentation here isn't actually necessary. So this would represent the same thing that says a, that the value for the list key is a list of these two words. But I think the indentation, personally, I think it makes it look a lot more obvious what's going on. And similarly, I don't think this indentation is necessary as well. So you could have it like that and it would be the same thing. But I do think it's much nicer when they're indented like that to show that these all belong under this menu item key. They're the value for it. So I'm going to delete all this and you're going to have to think about how you would lay it out yourself just to make sure you got it clear, right? How do you represent a list of dictionaries? I'll show you a few of the mistakes that people typically make. One of them is that people do something like this. They give each key in each dictionary a list item. Wrong, because that means these are two different dictionaries. So that is not quite right. Another thing that people do is try and leave out the dash item. Now, this doesn't represent a list of dictionaries. It just represents one big dictionary with duplicate keys. So that's not right. So what you need to do, again, is you need to have the dashes and the key value pairs at the same indentation to represent a list of dictionaries like that. People always get in that wrong, so just make sure you understand that. But like I said, any valid JSON is valid YAML. So if you do ever get stuck and you're not sure how to write it in YAML, just write the equivalent JSON and it will still be valid. So I could change this to this, and that's still perfectly valid YAML. And you can see here, I've actually done a mix between YAML and JSON. So I haven't included the, the quotes and that's fine because that interpolation between YAML and JSON, it still works out. So that's YAML. Most people find YAML confusing to start with, but they learn to love it. I love it, and I think that you're gonna love it too once you get the practice in.